morning, Ian. We know of two locations in the city of Milwaukee right now with these protests happening. One is Southwater here, the Planned Parenthood. You can see a line of probably 20 to 30 people out here with their signs, as well as officers blocking the front door, allowing access for patients and staff here at Planned Parenthood to still come and go as they please. Now, these groups are over at Affiliated Medical Services as well. That's near Farwell and Ogden. We got some video of that earlier. The protesters are with Operation Save America, and Milwaukee is the site of their annual national convention this year. They are protesting different abortion fac or facilities in the area that perform abortions in the city, and they will be here all week. But that also means pro-choice advocates are coming out trying to tamper their message. For them. So we oppose child abuse, and abortion is child abuse. It's the ultimate form of child abuse. It always ends in the death of the baby. And so we're here to speak on their behalf and show pictures of what abortion actually does to children. And we're hoping that the hearts of the people in Milwaukee will turn against abortion and that one day this will be outlawed. It's not okay to go to clinics and be part of this anger-fueled thing when someone's trying to go to the doctor. It feels really oppressive and clinics are a place of refuge and they're a place of health care. Now, Affiliated Medical Services released a statement to us saying these pro-life activists do not represent the support that they've received in this community, and they are asking supporters to not engage with protesters. We also know that police will be at these protests throughout the week, um, just showing their uh, presence out here as these protests continue all week long. Reporting live in the Fifth Ward, Hannah Hilliard, WISN 12 News.